All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. Uh, the name of the video is, I uh, hear the details of a new UFO report released by the U.S. government. Interesting. Oh, this is coming from uh, CNN. Let's check it out. Let's get it, guys. A Pentagon report is detailing a dramatic increase in UFO sightings, more than 350 since 2021. Many of them are explained as being drones, birds, or weather events, but about half of them remain unexplained. Let's go. And the office that tracks these sightings in restricted military airspace says that some, quote, require further analysis. That's an understatement. <laughs> uh, CNN's space and defense correspondent Kristen Fisher has the details. Let's go. Boris and Amra, Capitol Hill has been waiting for this report from the Office of the Director of National and. I want to point out something really quickly, guys. Apologies. I'm going to run it back a little bit. Um, it seems like every single time they speak about it, they're laughing. She's extremely jovial. Uh, this woman here is also extremely jovial. This man is smiling. They're all like, this is all nonsense. But yet the Pentagon keeps talking about it, right? Just be, listen, I have no idea what these things are, but for some reason, the Pentagon is talking about it. We probably should be paying attention to that rather than random things occurring in, in Alabama, for example, right? <laughs> uh, we should be looking at that rather than all the other stuff that's trying to kind of displace our eyes from this, right? But I just don't like the fact that they're laughing about it, guys. They're like, this is ridiculous. I don't care about this stuff. Bro, come on. 150 since 2021. Many of them are explained as being drones, birds, or weather events, but about half of them remain unexplained. And like the office that to tracks smile. these sightings in restricted military airspace says that some, quote, require further analysis. That's an understatement. <laughs> uh, CNN's space <laughs> and defense correspondent Kristen Fisher has the details. Boris and Amra, Capitol Hill has been waiting for this report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, or the ODNI. And what this report found is that there have been more than 300 new sightings of what the government calls UAPs, or Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, right. or more commonly called UFOs. Since Right, when you look to dismiss it, if the government already is now using UAP, let's call it UAP. These are Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or more commonly called UFOs, since the last time that the ODNI put out a report like this back in 2021. Back then, the ODNI could not explain 144 sightings of UAPs. This time, Hmm. Now, they can't explain 171 of them. And one part of the report that really stands out is this one. It says that some of these uncharacterized UAPs appear to have demonstrated unusual flight characteristics or performance capabilities and require further analysis. So, is it advanced U.S. technology? Is it advanced technology from... If it was advanced U.S. technology, then the U.S. government wouldn't be putting this in a, uh, a memoir, let's say. Uh, a foreign adversary, like perhaps China or Russia, or is it uh, extraterrestrial in origin or something mm. else entirely? We just don't know. And the right. U.S. government uh, says that it doesn't know either, or at least it will not say so uh, publicly in this unclassified report. Uh, but they did give some explanations for about 163 of the sightings that have been okay. detailed in this report. And here Here's how they explain those. The vast majority are either balloons or balloon entities. Uh, a handful balloon were drones. Entities. Another handful were what they call uh, airborne clutter. Things like birds, weather events, uh, okay. or airborne debris, like plastic bags. So the bottom line here, members of Congress say that this is a step in the right direction to reducing the stigma associated with reporting sightings of UAPs. It's also a step in the right direction to enhance. I mean, it would be nice if, if we could kind of stop the stigma, but we can't do that when we start this whole thing and you're smiling, he's smiling, and she's smiling, right? You're making, them, you're making the whole thing seem crazy. Enhancing national security because, remember, uh, a lot of these sightings happen uh, right around military bases or assets. But uh, while it's a step in the right direction, members of Congress say the Pentagon, mm. uh, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, still have a long way to go to giving them the answers that they ultimately want. Okay. Guys, so here's my overall opinion on this. Um, I think that study needs to be put into these 
unidentified objects. Absolutely. These, these unknown aerial phenomenon. Absolutely. Uh, do I think that, uh, these are like little green people? I don't know, bro. I don't think so. I mean, if there is, okay. Right. Um, I'm in the camp of saying that I think that it is ignorant of us as a, um, as a, as a race, right. Uh, to think that aliens don't exist, right. Uh, in some form, at least, um, I'm almost positive they do exist, uh, just based off of the fact that uh, they can present themselves in all types of ways, right? Um, does an alien have to be like us? If, if that's our characteristic, right, a human-like alien, then I don't know, potentially, right? Um, or can an alien be something, I don't know, guys, microscopic, <laughs> right? Uh Maybe our size is different, or or something like that. Maybe they're silicone-based, you know, beings and things like that, guys. Who knows? Um, but the universe is way too large uh, for us to be like how we are, right? Uh, uh, as a majority, at least, overwhelming majority, thinking that we're the only ones that exist uh, within the universe. There has to be something else, um, or if there's nothing else, then. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> you get what I'm saying here, guys. Um, but I, th I mean, but obviously, guys, life is going to present itself in um, many ways. I'm sure uh, it probably has already presented itself in many ways. But we're just looking for something that's identical to us, rather than I don't know, looking at a plant. A plant is alien life if, if it exists on another planet, right? Um, you know, cells are life in a sense, right? If they're existing on another planet, right? They're alien beings by definition, but will they have the same or more technology than us? Who knows, bro? I think if they got, if they made it here, then they're obviously superior to us in every single form and fashion, right? Um, so why would they want to be seen? I don't think that if it was um, an extremely intelligent being, I don't think that it would be something that um, would kind of be showing itself as often as is being depicted here, guys, right? Um, but all right, listen, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I do think that it needs to be taken serious. Um, if the, if we're literally spending money on something, you probably shouldn't be smiling. Like, I mean that, like if our tax dollars are going towards, um, destigmatizing something, you shouldn't be playing games within the stigma of it. Does that make any sense? guys? Um, our money is being spent on this. Please take it a little serious, a little more serious when you're reporting it. I would just, you know, just, just a thought, a theory, right? Uh, who am I? Random guy on the internet, right? <laughs> um, but right, guys, listen, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are we alone out there, guys? If we are alone, yeah, it's you know, unfortunate, <laughs> guys. But um, I do think, again, the aliens will, alien life exists, but it's probably going to be different than what we can even wrap our heads around, guys, right? Um, but listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.